This application will allow contractors to create an XBRL formatted work in process report. The tool provides two different ways to convert the data into XBRL format. The first option is to link to the contractor's financial system, bring data directly into the tool, then create the XBRL version for submission to the surety. The second option is to input the data manually into the tool by copying and pasting it from the work in process report you've already created in Excel. The tool essentially provides a pre-formatted spreadsheet that contains a mapping to the XBRL work and process taxonomy. We're going to focus on the second method, where you create the work and process report in a spreadsheet and copy and paste it into the application. Here we're looking at the construction contracts in progress. This is a sample construction company, and you can see that they have five different contracts in progress. Highland Center, WT Plaza, Plaza Center, Commerce Center, Silver Lake Center. You can also see that they have miscellaneous contracts in progress under $10 million. We'll be able to report all of these values in XBRL format. The data reported includes estimated costs and revenues for the total contract and then for time periods from inception to December 31st, for a point in time at December 31st, and for the year ended December 31st. We're now going to go to the application itself, which you'll see looks essentially just like an Excel spreadsheet. This Excel spreadsheet has been mapped to the work in process taxonomy. The contractor is required to do a one-time mapping of the contracts. So you'll see here the same contracts, or they can also be called jobs, as reported in the previous sheet, Highland Center, WT Plaza, and all other contracts. All the data has been copied and pasted into this spreadsheet from the contractor's original Excel spreadsheet, including costs and revenues for total contracts, for the period from inception to December 31st, for December 31st, and for the year ended December 31st. The data in this report can be updated automatically by just keying in the new data point. So you see here, we originally had a value of 185,000 for the estimated cost to complete for the time period of December 31st. We then change this value to 195,000. And to do so, we just need to rekey in the new number, and this value filters through to the rest of the contract. The gross profit and loss value that you see here has been updated to 3,875,000. If we go into the depository part of the tool, which is the second piece of the tool we'll be showing you, we can see that the value for gross profit has been changed here as well. Now we go back to the previous screen. We've updated the data for the cost estimates for the Highland project, and we're going to save the file. We're now going to synchronize the file, and this typically takes about 20 to 30 seconds. Synchronizing ensures that the revised data we've created carries through to the XBRL version of the document. So for a contractor who's generating a revised work in process, they just need to key in or cut and paste in the updated values and then synchronize the document. This will automatically update the data that they're going to be reporting in the XBRL version of the work in process report. Our next step will be to go to the depository section of the tool and we'll pull up the report that we generated. You'll see here that there are multiple reports available. We click on the contracts in process and this is going to show us the data that's been updated. I'm going to make this report a little bit bigger so it's a little easier to see. And you'll see that the value of 195,000 has been updated in this report. You can mouse over each of these elements to see the attributes of the facts reported. Those attributes include concept name, time period, scales, decimals, label. You'll be able to see this information for all the elements that you've reported in your work in process. We'll now go back and create the output file. The data can be reported in a previewer. So you'll be able to review the data that was created and make sure that and check the accuracy of the information reported. 
Once you're satisfied that all data has been successfully and accurately reported, you'll be able to generate the XBRL document. In the Download Output section, you'll see the XBRL package and you'll also see the Reviewer Guide. We're first going to look at the Reviewer Guide so we can check the data that we posted. It takes just a few seconds to bring this up. This is going to bring us to another spreadsheet and we'll be able to select the contracts in process, as you can see here. In column A, we see the concept names. Columns B and C show the actual facts that were reported. And here we can see where the 195,000 has been updated. And in subsequent columns, you'll see the attributes of each of the values, including concept name, type, which indicates if the value is a monetary or a string type, instant or duration for period type, units, which here are on USD for US dollars, balance type, which is credit or debit, and then there's also a column where we can post a comment. This file needs to be exported and saved. So here first we're going to save it, and then we'll export it to Excel on our desktop. Next, we're going to create the XBRL version of the file. This creates a set of files, because an XBRL document contains multiple files that need to be zipped up and then sent on to the surety. And this is what you see here. We've actually created the XBRL file. Once the surety receives the zipped XBRL file, they can automatically extract the data and ingest it into their systems. It will contain all the information needed which includes reporting entity, values reported, and time period.